All right, everyone, I've been holding off on this guy because I wanted to talk about him. I've been buying some of the entry grade kits simply because, well, they're cheap, okay? And uh, someone I haven't been able to talk to for about six months now because some people are pig-headed, um, was a big fan of, I can't even remember the name of the anime. Uh, I am such a failure. My Hero Academia, such a failure. But anyhow, I, I have if someone who was very close to me who was a big fan of this anime. And I saw this as an entry grade kit, so I thought, why not? Let's just snap this up. Let's see what it is. You can tell I'm opening it right now. I got it at Target, the same place that I got this little guy right here, the um, Gundam entry grade. They have this, they have a bunch of Pokemon. They have this guy and they have a bunch of uh, Dragon Ball, all entry grades. And the I haven't bought the Dragon Ball entry grades because it looks like they're eight pieces. And this one's probably not too much different to be honest with you. We'll find out when we open it, but I suspect it isn't gonna be too many pieces. I suspect there's very few stickers in here. Nope, there's a lot of stickers. Which is funny because this guy has zero stickers. And I like that fact. And we're going to be abusing this guy with some weathering. Yeah, he's looking up like, please don't do that to me. Yeah, you're going to get weathered. Okay? That's his lot in life to get weathered and abused. Because he will be fun to do that with. Anyhow, taking a look in here. I'm not building this right now. We're just going to take a look at the kit. And I'll come back and do a build video on it in a little bit. Okay, there are not very many parts on this. Take a look, there are two sets of sprues. So this is like a 10 minute build. These, the entry grade kits are designed so you tear them off the sprue gates. You do not need nippers. And I got two different types of stickers here. So that ought to be interesting. We have the metal foils and we have something back here, which I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure I'll come back later and talk about that. We can look at the directions. Okay, and yeah, metal foil stickers on the arms to give them stripies on the arms. And if they're textured, and we can look real quick and see if those are textured, and they are, you can paint those by hand pretty easily. So you wouldn't have to do that. I bet the eyes are stickers. Nope, the eyes are, yep, the eyes are stickers. There's the stickers right there. Okay, his uh, mouthpiece is all a sticker. All right, stickers on the arms, stickers in front of me, stickers to the rear, stickers everywhere. Let's have fun with stickers, okay? And I am not sure what that is. I don't have a hobby knife up here, so it'll be fun to open this bag. So let me tear this open. Oh, I, I missed two sprues. There's four sprue total. What? Look at me not being with it today. It's time to go downstairs and go to bed. I can't notice there's four sprue, and I say there's two. It's definitely time to go to bed. What are you? What are you? You. This is going to be those little sticker things that are sometimes good and sometimes not. Looks like the eyes and a few other little marks, but those are definitely the eyes. And they're stickers. And hopefully they're not real thick, because sometimes these stickers are too thick and they look horrible. Okay, I'm not a big fan of stickers, and I know a lot of people are not. But this is a model kit designed for a five-year-old, I think it is. Four or five-year-old, so it isn't, doesn't need to be real advanced, but it's a good starting point in the hobby. All right, so there's a quick review of that. I'll come back once it's built, and we'll see that video on the end of this. Hope you enjoy. 